everyone, welcome to the Mad Scene TV. I am your host Stephen Ang, and today I will be interviewing local composer and marathon Xiao Junyue. So without further ado, please help me welcome him. Hello everyone, my name is Xiao Junyue, I'm the local composer here. Hi, welcome, welcome to the, the first episode of the Mad Scene TV. You know, it's really it's an honor. Okay, come, please take a seat. Hi, uh, this is for you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, so nice. Uh, okay. okay, come, let's, let's enjoy then. Yeah, a little drink. Yeah, long time catch up between friends. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what, Chun Yen and I actually, we have, we have a very long past together, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we sang together under the same teacher, uh, Madam Hong Chai Wan Lao Shi, and and uh, and we performed in many places. Uh, we well many concerts in Singapore. We also toured Taiwan and Malaysia. Yeah, so it's been it's been a long while. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, cheers. Yes. One show, one concert, 26 songs. How many singers? Four singers? 
Uh, four singers. Yeah, four singers. Yeah, covering twenty six songs. Yeah, but and uh, uh, this time round, we we'll listen mostly live sessions because uh, the poems is I found. Uh, then after I think the room as they did, mostly the work with guys. And uh, starting from the basic is about. It's actually it's, it's also a song cycle. So inside there, there are three points. First off is the mask itself. Then second one, that one uh, talks about the colonial past. Then second one will in that second part of that cycle uh, is the Bukit Chandu, which is talk about the Tenen Atlan and. Uh, in, yeah, in the battle of Pas Panjang. I see. And this is like uh, Singaporean mythology. No mythology, it's history. Right, <laughs> history, yes. Yeah. History. And the third one is more on uh, cultural development of Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, from a little Christian village of the Malay family, then uh, from there it talks about two children and his dad. Uh, all the way to Singapore develops into a nation. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, what got you interested in composing actually? Because, you know, like I said before, we started out uh, as singers, yes. right? Uh, and that was a long time ago. At that time, Julian was singing tenor, and I would be his like part marathon duet partner. Yeah, and, right, right. Yeah, somewhere down the road, uh, well, how did you get you know, introduced to composing? And then we decided that that's something that we wanted to see. Oh, okay. Actually, is uh, thanks to my father, my younger <laughs> brother. He is actually uh, playing with his computer to see the earliest notation song where there's oh, okay. Then I said, uh, pass me one lah. <laughs> then so he passed me one. Actually, the thumb, you know lah. The one is not the actual. Right? <laughs> so your brother was composing his own pieces on. No, he's more more of more of arrangement arranging ah, arranging. See, because sometimes he, he he teaches uh school uh, school or so he sometimes he do that. I see, I see, I see. And so by playing around with the superior software, you decided to yeah you know just develop your own style of music. Yeah, yeah, because I think uh, now it's more of a healthy and stuff in Singapore. We need to be more different. <laughs> yes, I, I fully believe so. You know, we can't just you know focus on one area. And, 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 and also, there's so many things that, you know, the, the, that the art scene has to offer. You know, I think that let's, let's, you know, try to enjoy, you know, as much as we can, right? Yeah. And so, and so by uh, you know in, in your compositional journey, that has put you in touch with many many local poets. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, as as you said, uh, we are I'm a marathoners. So being a marathon, uh, it's a marathon. I need to learn German poems. Yeah, mm. Schubert, uh, Schumann. Yeah, yeah. And those poems are from like Goethe, uh, those famous German poets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that took me to, okay, they are very nations. As Germans, they are very nations. I'm following that. Then, what about Singapore? What I see in Singapore is very cold, cold, deep.
based on the literature of that of that describes our Singaporean way of life and based on our history and culture. Yeah. So I cheers to Singaporean art. Yes, cheers to Singaporean. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. Well, and uh, and you sing quite a lot as well. Yeah. First, when we started off as muscle tanneries. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the old history. That's right. We're like we're like a Singapore's <laughs> uh, operatic, operatic boy band in the world. <laughs> Except that none of, neither of us are boys at this point. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you know, like like uh, things we just kind of like went our uh, ways. But you know, we did uh, have the, and did do quite a lot of projects together. You know, yeah. and kind of a. Uh, 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 and involve a lot of young artists in our projects as well. You know that went on to do greater things. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was that was a that was a fun time. Yeah, it was a fun time. Yeah. And that and I think that was the starting point when I decided to go get out concert with a past part of two of my works. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Actually, on the, the act, on our actual first. My actual first work that is being premiered is actually at the Republic Poly Theatre, Culture Theatre. Okay. Yeah, there, there, actually there was uh, one piano called Dino Mels, then the other is called uh, The Ring That Was Left Behind. Mm -hmm. In Chinese, it's for a uh, piano trio, uh, one baritone. So after after this project, you know what's what's up. Uh, what what other plans do you have in development? Oh, after this project, mm -hmm. well, uh, I've been always composing. So whether we have project or no project, I'm still writing. So currently, I'm writing for a set. I think yeah, a song title. I'm thinking of a song title. Mm -hmm. Whether to do or not, it's another thing. But uh, currently, I just finished the uh, swing, uh, spring, the sweet spring. Then now it is like the one that is on spring. The summer is the unknown bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are two actually two poems by the UK. And so for for our audience who wants to check out your works, you know, okay, uh, where where can we find you? Where can we find your pieces? Yeah, actually you can listen to my works uh, at my YouTube channel. Right? Yeah. yeah, you can subscribe to TV1 if you like the work. So, so you send me the link and put it in the description below. Cheers to your YouTube channel. Yes. You know, like doing arts in the pandemic is, is so difficult. You know, uh, for one thing, when everything happened last year, you know, yeah. all our plans were just cancelled. Just all our hopes and dreams for twenty twenty just whoosh, just vanish in, 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 in vanish in thin air. True. Yeah. Well, who are some of the, the who are some of the, uh, your favorite co collaborators that you know that you have worked with? Yeah, collaborators. Uh, most of the time. He doesn't know me until very years, years later. Yeah, well, uh, I live at Phoenix Road. Uh, there was a let me see before before 1993. Yeah, so no before 1991. Yeah, 1991. So I came to Ishun at that time. I was I stayed at the Phoenix Road, but at the time I didn't know he was living there. I, I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. And that, my place, the way I, the place where I stayed was a old shop house. 
So now it's already on block, so all my editing for my plus million. Oh, no, it's okay. Okay, good. Well done. Well done to your parents. No, no, <laughs> not my parents. By the time I already stayed, uh, they already gone. It, it only is just so late, recently so long. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, yeah, uh, it's. It, I mean, you live in a very nice place now, and as it is. Yeah. 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 Then uh, I later knew he stayed at Queen's Road because I went to his house. Mm. And, oh, okay, that's sort of place. Okay. That reminds me of where I stay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Then I began to once in a while we talk. We talk on over the phone. Then yeah, and his poems. Then I started writing his poem. The very first poem which I wrote for Ed Hamu is Ulysses and Ryan. That one uh, is a very interesting piece because uh, he's thinking what? And okay, if anybody knows about German mythology, no, no German Greek mythology. Sorry, classical Greek mythology. Well, Ulysses uh, is actually Odysseus. I'm not wrong, it's called Odysseus, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Odysseus or Odysseus. Odysseus, yeah. Yes, yeah, Odysseus. Yeah, then, uh, yeah, that poem talk about what is Odysseus. Passed by Singapore and look at it, and all of we found that Singapore was a rich area. Right? Feel we. Uh, different, uh, uh, different people, different sorts of people. Mm. Yeah, from the English, from the British, from the Chinese to the Indians to the Malays. Yeah, and everybody is working down. The yeah. So that is what he did. And he saw the prosperity of Singapore. Mm. And he saw the lion, the lion, oh, magnificent. That's the thing, that's the whole point. Right. Yeah, I'm sure and this is and really enjoyable food as well. True. And uh, for the singer to sing all these beats, well, it's like a hurry. Mm. You must treat it like you are the uh, Ulysses yourself. And you are looking at that point, the picture that you are looking at. What Singapore what is? Mm, yes, I have to say I've heard it myself and I have to say that it's quite a uh, well, provoking piece of music, the, the poetry and the music. Yeah, it, it makes us think about, you know, uh, about uh, well, appreciating our environment, our culture, you know, seeing it from the point of view of, let's say, a, a mythical Greek hero, but at the same time, you know, just looking deeper into what we can into what we have here in our lifestyle here. Yeah, so cheers to Ulysses yes. in Singapore. Yes. Hmm. Next up, we will have a musical performance by local tenor Timothy Huang of Xiao Chun Yuan's Ulysses by the Merlion. Hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. 
of the sea. So mended, skelly, wonders of tale, parted with power, insistent on this grief from a tree. Nothing, nothing in my days foreshadow this half beast, half fish, this powerful creatures of land and sea. People settle hills, brought to this island, the bounty of the seas, built towers as cobblers as he. Despite in other ways, together they mutate, explore the age of harmony, search for a The way the woman dressed great, they hold the bright, the beautiful, good ancestral's dream. Within new visions, full of what is now. Having dealt in things, suffered on them. The spirits yearn again for
Thank you so much for viewing our concert, uh, our concert, our interview too. Yeah, and uh, please uh, look up to Yuan's YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel. Or and, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like what we have to offer. And uh, uh, please check out my music on Spotify as well. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.